扉にご注意ください。We just arrived to Kansai International Airport. We are flying back to Tokyo today. From Namba Station, it takes about 50 minutes. It's a bit far. I saw the news that the finally the new area at the Kansai International Airport opened, so I'm really excited to explore the airport. <laughs> Welcome to Osaka. By the way, yeah, this is the place that you might take the train when you just arrived to Osaka, so welcome back. Now we are in front of the gate. Basically, it's between Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. If you are heading to the town, there are train stations, either JR or Nankai. That's a ticket counter. As I always say, The first thing to do after you arrive to Japan, make sure to get the train IC card. It's really convenient. You can simply get it following the direction. Yep. In Osaka, it's Ikoka. Well, speaking about the train IC card, the name's different, but pretty much it's the same. If you get it in Tokyo, it's Suika. In Osaka, Ikoka. If you get it in Kyushu, it's Sugoka. Name's different, but works same, so don't worry about it. This is the entrance of terminal number two. Basically, there are hotels and restaurants, so usually、uh, you don't have to come over for the flight. Inside, first cabin and the hotel Nikos are there. Compared to terminal number one, usually less people, so if you want to take a rest quietly, you can come over here. There is Lawson, which is a really popular convenience store too. So, you can just grab the drink and take a rest over there. That's how you can kill time with saving money at the airport in Kansai. <laughs> yep, Osaka is my hometown. I've used so many times this airport, so I know really well. For now, let's go to the terminal number one. So, this is how it looks like inside the airport. If you're taking the international flight, try to get the side wall. And you can directly go to the international departure floor. If you're taking the domestic flight, you can just keep straight in the elevator. However, for me, it doesn't really matter. Because anyway, you can just go i n up or go i n down inside the airport either way. Oh, by the way, that's the international arrival lobby. If you are flying from outside of Japan and coming to Osaka directly, you will get here. There is an information board and there is a currency exchange, which does not have a good exchange rate, and a SIM card. Just keep straight and use the escalator. Oh, look at that! That's、uh, Animal Crossing. I didn't know how to call it in English. In Japanese, it calls Dobuts no Mori. After you get out from the escalator, turn right and keep straight, you will find that, that station place. Right now, it's 11 56. My flight is from 2 30. We still have time. So, firstly, let's go to check the international departure lobby. It was still like a ghost town last time when I visited here. But probably it will be super crowded, I believe. Let's see. Yep, as I expected. So many people are coming to Osaka too. I'm super happy to see that. So many people, especially from China and also many other Asian countries. I used to study in the States when I was a college student. I always use this international airport. And、uh, yeah, so natsukashi. <laughs> so many memories over here. During the pandemic, it was totally different atmosphere, but finally, yep, I can feel the Kansai International Airport. Okay, now let's go to check the restaurant area. Oh, so that place over there must be the new place. Oh, so this is the one, Tasty Street. Here we go. 
Are you guys ready to explore? Let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is this it? I thought it's much bigger. Oh my goodness, this is just like a food court. Well, when I see it on TV, I thought some big place is open in Kansai Airport. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. You know, I always show you guys the real Osaka and the Japan. So, if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can know the real inside. <laughs> So let's check what we have. There is Kamukura ramen restaurant. It's really good one, but we have it in Tokyo Station too. Oh, Kanku Shokudo. The dining at the Kansai International Airport. This place sounds interesting. Oh, nice. So you can get the rice over there and then you can pick up the food, whatever you like. And you can just pay it. What else we have? It's takomasa, takoyaki. It's really popular one in Osaka. And also, what is this? It's a udon. Oh, nice. And it seems like this udon restaurant is the most popular one. All right, sweet. Why not? Let's eat over here. Let's eat deep fry with vinegar and the turtle sauce. Oh wait, maybe this chicken and potato teriyaki. Sound better. Let me try this. So let's try that. Also, deep fried eggplant in broth. This must be good too. And kimpira style, salted burdock. <laughs> so hard in English. It's kimpira gobo. Perfect. Oh, here. Also, they have a plum. Pickled nanko plum. Let's try that. You know, I usually don't like the plum because it's super sour and salty, so. But why not? Alright. Let's eat. So, speaking of the price, altogether 1,200 Japanese yen. Uh, thinking about the Japanese standard, it is expensive. However, thinking about the airport standard, I think it's pretty good. So, itadakimasu. I really wanted to try this. It's one of my favorite. Eggplant. Mm. It has nice dashi flavor. Also, the eggplant sweetness, loving it. How about this karaage? The teriyaki karaage. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty big karaage. Itadakimasu. Mm. Nice teriyaki flavor, really good with rice. Mm. A bit salty flavor of teriyaki perfectly matches with this sweet potato. Actually, it's a potato with sweet taste. Yeah, that's what I want to say. <laughs> Loving it. Psycho. Inside the miso soup, there is a radish, also deep fried tofu, and green onion. Hmm. It is really simple, but that's Japanese food. <laughs> How about this gobo bardo? Kimpira gobo. It's really popular Japanese food since I was kids. I've been eating this. Hmm. It's soy sauce based taste, a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy too, and also healthy as well. It is really popular house food. When I was a kid, my mom always cooked for me too. Mm. Well, I will be flying from now, so not really tired. However, usually after the long flight, people are really tired. 
So this kind of gentle food, maybe it's perfect for the traveler. They made a good restaurant. And how about this umeboshi? It's a shiso leaf. It's a huge plum. I love plum wine, but I don't like umeboshi much. It's a pickled plum. Please try it at least once. You might like it, but maybe not. It is very traditional Japanese food. So, itadakimasu. Mmm. <laughs> it is sour and salty. <laughs> but after eating umeboshi, the rice feels much, much sweeter. So all the time in Japan, still we don't have many food. People are not rich as now. Many people eat this umeboshi with rice. Yeah, that's uh, one of the simple food. So if you read the manga, and they're talking about the all the time Japan, many people eat this umeboshi with rice. Oh, by the way, did you guys realize I permed my hair again? And also, cut my front hair. Well, if you want to perm your hair and want to cut your hair, usually it takes more than 10,000 Japanese yen in Japan. Since my family is already running the beauty salon, so I can do it for free. So before leaving Osaka, <laughs> I perm and cut my hair again. How is it? Do you like it? Or the previous hair is better? Let me know in the comment down below. It is packed, but there are still empty seats too. Probably during the weekend, it will be so packed. Oh, I didn't realize there is a curry house as well. Price is about 1,000 Japanese yen, so I guess it's the standard airport price, I believe. I'm so full. Now, let's check in the luggage. Today, I got the ticket with Jetstar. This is Jal, so... Oh yeah, there we go, that's Jetstar. <laughs> Kicks Kansai Airport for the spot. So, let's check in. All right, I can check in up to 10 kg. Wait, it's more than 10 kg. My backpack is less than four, so it should be fine. I always place the laptop into my backpack, so it should be fine. Now, my backpack become 5.3 and uh, my luggage become 8.95, so checked. Okay, now let's check in the luggage. Today, luckily, no lying. I'm happy. Alright, sweet. Just finished the check-in. Well, last time when I used the Jetstar airline at Hokkaido, it took so long time, so I kind of worried. But this time, much faster. Definitely much faster. My boarding time is 2.05. We still have time, so let's go to check the other side. So now we don't have much restaurants, but uh, since 2023 August and the third floor will be opened again. They are renovating the airport, so it will be much, much better. Before the Osaka Expo, it will be totally changed. This side of the airport, we have McDonald's and also Coco Cola Fine which is the pharmacy and also you can find many other stuff too. At the end is smoking room and also Koban police station and also Lawson banks. <laughs> I guess because of the construction, the ventilator is not working well because this place uh, smells like oil, you know, food oil. <laughs> Maybe because of the fried potato. By the way, this is a picture of the Osaka Expo's island. This is how it looks like. 
after finish the expo, they will build the IR resort over here, which contains the casino. The island is right next to the Universal Studios Japan, and the Universal Studios Japan is building the new area of Donkey Kong, which I'm really excited. So, yeah, Osaka will totally change, and I'm really excited. After they finish the construction of Kansai International Airport, I will be back and I will give you guys a tour. So, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. 1.30 right now, security check might take time, so let's get in. The security checkpoint, not crowded at all neither, it only takes like 3 minutes. Sweet! So, where is the gate? Let's see. I was always wondering how we can call this machine over here. It looks like an escalator, but now I know. It's a travel later, isn't it? Well, whatever it calls, really useful, so I love this guy. This is how inside the domestic flight terminal looks like. Oh, we have a restaurant inside the airport and also much less people. I always use the international flight, so international terminal. I don't come over here much, so totally forgot. Look at this Monaka. It's a soft cookie inside red bean paste, use flavor. Looks pretty good. Eh? <laughs> and akaku, akaku. It's a rice cake outside, a sweet red bean paste. Really popular one. <laughs> ah, it's really sweet. Eh? Oh my goodness, look at this cute wagashi. It's marshmallow. Oh, interesting. The white one is the vanilla lemon. The pink one is a strawberry. And the yellow one, it's a buttermilk. Must be good. Oh, so many wagashi here. Nice, by the way. Japanese traditional sweets called wagashi. Wagashi. <laughs> this is interesting. The Kansai potato chips. Kushikatsu sauce flavor. And also, takoyaki flavor. Sounds like Osaka. Oh, Japan traveling restaurants. Do they have many different kinds of food from many prefectures? Let me see. Osaka and Boteju. <laughs> Wait, uh, I guess it's pretty much it's a Osaka restaurant. Sorry. They have Shizuoka and also Okayama too. Never mind. So, seems like this is it. We are here. My gate is gate 24, so it's over here. There are many restaurants. Not that big, but uh, I think it's enough. Gate 24. So, 24 over here. Tokyo Narita. Seems like no delay. Well, this time we arrived here kind of early. Today's weather forecast was raining in Osaka, so I kind of worried, but uh, I'm super happy that it's not raining. By the way, I just took a photo and posted it on my Instagram. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account as well. Alright, let's go. Always excited before riding on the airplane. Now it's time to sing, because I'm leaving. I don't know Chaplin. Don't know when I'll be back again. Let's go to Tokyo. Okay, so 7A, this is my seat. Oh, is it raining outside? I totally didn't realize it. Wow, so this is how much space we have whenever riding on the LCC airplane. Makes me surprised. Since I have laptop over here, I don't want to place it on top, so. I usually hold it like this and if you open the table yep this is how much space you have well you know only 90 minutes fried so 
That's okay. Since I joined the club Jetstar, my flight included the snack voucher of 500 Japanese yen. Those are the menu items that you can order inside the airplane. For international flight, including alcohol, drink is free, but domestic flight, you have to pay money. This time, I have ordered the coffee and the kit card. I could order either hot one and the cold one. Last time, I ordered hot coffee and a waffle, so this time, I ordered the cold one. Seems like it's a big kit card. Nice! Kanpai! I love coffee, but drinking it in the airplane tastes better, especially with the beautiful sky. Psycho! Okay, let's open the kit card. Oh, I thought there is a big kit card inside. Wait, only three inside? It looks pretty big though. <laughs> Good job, Kika. Still, I love you. Tokyo is a big city, but there are so many natures in Japan, especially if we go to the countryside. Hope one day, I can travel all over Japan by a car and make videos. We are on to Tokyo, so let's get out and get the luggage. Unfortunately, it's cloudy, but uh, Osaka was raining, so yeah, definitely it's better. Speaking of the LCC airline, as you see, the seat is kind of small. And also, after you arrive, we have to walk a while because, you know, the arriving place is far from the main terminal, but uh, it's much cheaper. Well, later, I will tell you guys how much it cost and uh, how was it uh, comparing to the Shinkansen. And here we go, finally we arrived. Probably my luggage is already here. Seems like so many luggage are there. Let me see, can I find it? Oh, probably that's the one. Here we go. Maybe I should place some sticker or something so that I can find it much easier. I used to place it, but this guy, it's relatively new, so I haven't, but I will. And that's it. We arrived to the terminal number three. So let's get the ticket. So today we are heading back to Tokyo. The easiest way is the bus. However, if you want to take the train, you just need to keep straight and then go to the terminal number two. It's 650 meters far, so you have to walk a while. And also the taxi too, you can take a taxi over there. So this is the ticket. The price cost 1,300 Japanese yen compared to the train and also the express train. It's cheaper, also faster. The bus used to be leaving from there. So in the previous video, I explained how you can get there, but uh, already they have changed the place. So we can just get out from the terminal and keep straight, I guess. The bus is number five or six. Not sure. All right, sweet. Seems like this is the bus. <laughs> Let me know. Is it crowded? Not really. So basically, you need to get the ticket and make a reservation. But uh, you can sit down wherever you want. Maybe we can sit down this side so that we can see the Disneyland. After checking the baggage, you will receive the ticket. And do not lose this because when you get luggage you need this ticket talking about the space how much we have this place much 
spacier compared to the LCC airline. There is a charger too. So starting from terminal number 3, they are going to terminal number 2 and terminal number 1 and they pick up the customers. So if you take a bus from terminal number 3, you can pick the seat wherever you want. But uh, if you are taking a bus from terminal number 1, maybe uh, you can find the window side seat. Well, today I'm not sure how many people will use the bus, but uh, hopefully it's not that crowded. If you sit down left side of the bus, you can find Tokyo Disneyland on your left. It takes about an hour from Narita Airport to Tokyo Station. It really depends on the traffic though, but usually, yes, it's only an hour. Alright, here we go. Finally, we get to Tokyo Station. So here, we need a ticket. Switch. It's 5.45. If you are arriving to Japan around this time, usually the rush hour time starts, so it will be so packed. Uh, just keep in your mind, if you have a stroller or small kids, probably you will have a hard time to take a train. So yeah, bus would be easier or maybe the reserved seat works as well. And that's the entrance of Tokyo Station. If you need to take a Shinkansen, oh yeah, <laughs> it is really simple. Yeah, there is a big sign, so probably you don't get lost. But uh, it's a Tokaido Sanyo Shinkansen. If you are taking Tohoku Shinkansen, that's a different place now. Also, if you have a big luggage, you can send it from here to the Sagawa carrier. Well, if I take a train, the Tokaido Shinkansen is Nozomi, two hours and 30 minutes, I will go back to Osaka. But definitely, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. If you get to Tokyo Station during the noon time, as you can see, there are so many shops and restaurants, so you don't have to worry about place to eat. Also, there is a First Avenue Tokyo Station, ramen restaurants, Japanese restaurants, pretty much everything over there, so. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about, the Kamakura. It's a chain restaurant. They are veggie ramen, oishi ramen. It's pretty good too. Maybe you can try at least once if you visit Japan. Now we are at Marunouchi exit. I just helped the travelers and uh, they were wondering how they can take the Tokyo Metro. Basically, we were at the Yai side and if you want to take the Tokyo Metro, you have to come over to the Marunouchi side. You can't pass go through the JR station, so you need to use the aisle that I have used. You can just go out and use that elevator or the stairs over there. Well, Tokyo Station is a big station. It's a little bit complicated. It's not as bad as, you know, Shinjuku or Shibuya, but still. So just remember, there is a Marunouchi side and the Yai side. If you are arriving to the Yai side by the bus, just try to find the Marunouchi side if you are using the Tokyo Metro. If you are using JR, shouldn't be that problem because there is an entrance right in front of you. But uh, yeah, just remember the Marunouchi side. Also, at Marunouchi side, you can have the beautiful view and the photo spot. It's my favorite place. If you are visiting Tokyo Station, don't forget to visit the Marunouchi exit. Oh, today seems like not so many people. Usually, many people are taking photo in front of the Tokyo Station. All right, sweet! Finally, we came back to Tokyo. So, talking about the price, this time, I used the Jetster LCC airline from Osaka to Tokyo. The original price cost 5,500 Japanese yen. However, there are many hidden fees over there. Today, I had to carry the luggage and also I picked the seat, the window seat. 
it costs additional fee as well. You know, I'm a blogger, so I wanted to film it outside, so I need a window seat. <laughs> and also, Jetster, when you paid it, you need to use the credit card. Basically, pretty much you have no option, but you use the credit card and you got to pay for the fee. So altogether, it was 9,500 Japanese yen. If I use the Shinkansen, it's about 130 Japanese yen. Compared to that, it's still cheaper. However, again, you have to think about, you know, usually the airport is far from the main station. Shinkansen is leaving from Tokyo station, but for the airplane, either we have to go to Haneda or Narita airport. And uh, yeah, it also costs and the time as well. For me, to be honest, <laughs> Shinkansen is much easier. So yeah, if you have a JR pass or you know cheaper option, maybe you can use Shinkansen. However, thinking about how I feel, you know, I love airplane. Feels like I'm going to the other venture. So yeah, airplane is more fun. Well, that's the reason why always I'm thinking if I should use the airplane or Shinkansen, <laughs> and uh, I've been using both. Today it's before the golden week, so the plane ticket was not as cheap as the regular time. But uh, yeah, sometimes we can find a really cheap ticket for the airplane. In that case. Definitely, I will use the plane because it's more fun too. <laughs> Speaking of my channel, there are many Japan travel tips and also Japanese food as well. So if you are planning to travel to Japan, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if this video helps, please don't forget to hit the like button as well. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Anyway, hope this video will help your next Japan trip. So see you in the next video. See you Come on. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye. Finally, we came back to Tokyo. Well, it was a long trip. I was in Osaka about a month. I kind of miss Tokyo too. You know, Osaka and Tokyo have a different vibes. From the next week, Golden Week is coming, which is big holiday in Japan and there will be so many people in Tokyo. So I'm kind of afraid of it but excited as well. <laughs> yep, trust me, everywhere will be so many people. I will be filming from somewhere so please look forward to it. So here, Japan travel tip. If you don't like crowd or if you don't want to wait in the line, try to avoid the 1st of May. Go the week.